Hey, what's up everybody? It is about 3.22 in the morning. I know that's a little crazy to be up at this time, but I rested during the day, and you know, when you rest during the day, you kind of catch up with yourself at night, and, you know, well, anyway, I was going to do this earlier in the day, but uh, like I said, I was resting, and I didn't know what to do, honestly, but, um, I've been watching some videos, like SpinnerNet, and One, and Twisted Goalie, and I think even J-Dub, and even uh, Jeff Meacham at Talk Wrestling, on Talk Wrestling 103 for NoDQ.com, have been talking about it, and that is the, and that is in three days, three and a half days, if you will, well, or four days, or whatever you want to call it, three and a half, four days, uh, what is being dubbed by some as the sequel, if you will, to the original Monday Night Wars is going to happen when TNA once again goes up against the WWE, but this time on a permanent basis. Not a one-time deal, it's a permanent basis. Now, according to some numerous sources, TNA is going to do exactly what they did on the 4th. They're going to pull out all the stops. They're going to bring in a lot of surprises. Excuse me. And the quick, a lot of surprises. And the event, and the first official uh, night, on, the first official Monday night program is going to be headlined by Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair t returning to the ring, but teaming up with Abyss and AJ Styles. So on one side you have Ric Flair and AJ Styles, on the other side you have Hulk Hogan and Abyss. Now, uh, a lot of people, uh, now I can probably guess that a lot of people are thinking that this is just going to be like a setup, and you know, this is going to be the night that the band officially does come together and um, shows that the, you know the you know really for life or something like that. I really don't know. Um, I'm just guessing. That's just a guess. I don't. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but you know. I know a lot of fans are thinking that. Um, there's a, you know, so it's being headlined by that. It's also the night that, like I said, TNA says they're going to pull out all the stops and you know make a lot of you know, you know, surprise everyone with all these big time surprises. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the surprises I think fans already know about is possibly the official and finally, in many of their minds, t long rated TNA debut of Rob Van Dam. Now, if Rob Van Dam does... A, now, according to Hogan himself, from what some numerous sources have said, RVD has signed with TNA. But the question is, what kind of an impact is RVD going to make if he does make his debut this Monday? Is he going to be featured in the X Division, which a lot of people might say is a good starting point for him in TNA? Or will he be thrust right into the main event spotlight? We don't know. I do know, though, that if RVD is in TNA, then the fans are going to eventually finally get what they've been wanting. And that is the dream matchup of RVD versus AJ Styles. You know, fans have been wanting to see that for a while, and they might get it. Um... But all I know is that that's possibly one of the surprises or one of the big things that w, uh, TNA has set up. What else they have set up, I don't really know. I mean, they could surprise everybody with other, you know, people that they've signed. Um, Tommy Dreamer, for example, uh, is a good example. Is a good is a name that's been tossed around about going to TNA, and he, I guess he's got the, I guess he got the kind of the same deal that Christian got to a. You know, when Christian back in 2005, you know, one week he's on WWE television, and then the following week he's uh, on TNA. So maybe Dreamer got that, but maybe he was resting a little bit, and maybe he'll be in a surprise appearance. Uh, we don't know. Uh, a lot of these things are going on. Uh, but I do see some things maybe going down. Maybe I do see a confrontation finally, you know, vocally or something, between Jeff, Jarrett, Mick Foley, and Eric Bischoff. Um, I, I really don't know what's going on, though, with, uh, so we, you know, we might see that, well, we'll see something involving those two that's really going to 
take that situation, that storyline angle to the next level. Um, uh, the band, uh, you know, Scott Hall, Waltman, Sean Waltman, uh, Eric, uh, Kevin Nash, and I think now even Eric King. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I don't know if that's just going to be a reformation of the band or what's going on. I don't know. But, you know, knowing Vince Russo, the kind of writer he is, I wouldn't be surprised if he puts a twist on that or something. And, uh, but yeah, you can expect a lot of things out of this one. Because this is not only the first official impact on Monday nights going forward, but it's also the last impact before Destination X. So, maybe we might get some build there, I don't know. I mean, like a lot of people said, they haven't really promoted Destination X that much, except for the fact that they're going to have Ultimate X, and the fact that they're going to have Hernandez and Morgan taking on beer money for the tag team titles. I don't know. So, we're just going to have to see, wait and see what happens there. Um, I mean, I did watch Impact, I did record and watch Impact tonight, and I, despite what some people may say, I thought it was... You know, I thought it was decent, despite how some fans may, may say. I mean, the one thing that really got me is almost every segment, you know, you had somebody like a bit. Uh, you had Kurt Angle. You, like, first of all, you had Kurt Angle. Then you had a bit. Then you had Bubba, the love sponge. And then you had Eric Bischoff, all trying to talk Hogan out of competing in this match. So, now I don't know if that's part of a storyline where he's going to probably turn on a bit. I don't know. So, you know, like I said, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I mean, it's, it's, it's a big deal for TNA. And, you know, I've got a feeling, despite what some people may say, TNA is going to bring their A game. Uh, as far as the WWE goes, uh, the WWE's um, Monday Night Raw is being headlined by two things. Of course, the guest host is, because the, of course, the guest host on Raw is going to be Chris Angel, who my family, my mom, believe it or not, actually saw in person. So he'll be guest hosting Raw. And they're headlining it with the main event, John Cena versus Vince McMahon. Something tells me that this whole Brett Vince McMahon thing is going to be played out to the point that Vince might get injured by Brett, leg-wise and all that, and it'll make it even Steven or something. I don't know. I know that on Monday we're going to still build, we're going to build up the Sheamus Triple H situation. Um, I know we're going to get more of the Shawn Michaels Undertaker story going, and uh, we might get a little build to the to the now tag team title match that's going to take place, as well as we'll probably get our last participant in Money in the Bank. So, I really I don't know what to expect either way, but I will say this: unlike some people. I'm going to be able to watch both shows. In fact, I'll have both shows. I'll be able to record both shows. You know why? Because there's a site, there's a wrestling site I go to that allows you to download the shows. So even if I'm watching Raw and recording Raw, I won't have to worry about missing any bit of impact. I mean, yeah, I might go back and forth. But what I'll do is I'll go to my, I'll go to the rec room eventually later on that night or something and download impact and then record it onto DVD, so, but yeah, I really, I'm really looking forward to this Monday night, because it's going to be like going back in time, uh, I mean, I know some people feel as though TNA shouldn't really be doing this just yet, that they're not ready, um, to be quite honest, I think TNA's been ready for the past two years, three years they've been ready for this, they just need a, you know, a big momentum pusher, and this is it. But like I said, you know, I, I, those are just my opinions on what I think is going to happen on both shows and what's going, what is scheduled to happen. So, um, and again, you know, we just have to tune in and see who wins out in the end and who, what fans are going to prefer the most. I mean, I know a lot of fans feel as though this is a mistake on TNA's part because they're starting doing what is known as WrestleMania season. And fans, despite whether it's competition or not, would rather watch WWE. So I really don't know, and quite honestly, I don't know how Ring of Honor is going to respond to this, <laughs> you know, because now they're going to have not one, but two shows to compete with, whether they like competing or not, and whether they admit it or not. So, but that's all I have to say, that's just my opinion on a lot of things, and, 
I mean, I know other people have their opinions, like taking quotes out of Vince Russo's new book. So, you know, really, that's all I have to say. And if you got any comments or responses to that, let me know.